So I'm super excited to show you how you can use Google Slides and voice typing to create a transcript of a video. So in preparation, what I've done here on the left is I have a video from my drive that's queued up, ready to play. For this, I'm going to use my Google Innovator uh, application video because it's short, it's one minute, and inspire this project. Split screen here, I have my slides where I want to perhaps insert that video. I've got voice typing queued up. You can queue that up by going to tools, voice type, and you can voice type the speaker notes. What I suggest is go ahead and if you can drag the speaker notes up and then you're gonna have more space to see the voice typing take place. So now that I'm sufficiently prepped, what I'm gonna do is press play on my video and then quickly go to this screen and start voice typing. I'm going to miss maybe the first couple words of my video, but I'm okay with that. I can add that later. So I'm gonna do that now. There are one billion people worldwide with disabilities who experience things differently. With teachers and students increasingly creating online content, how can we ensure that it is as accessible to people with disabilities? Accessible design principles are not just for developers. They belong in the hands of creators. I want to create teacher and kid-friendly accessible design resources and tutorials to build empathy, knowledge, and skills to make accessible design part of the creation process. Starting with with captions. I am one of the 45 million people in the world who are deaf and hard of hearing. With an audiogram that looks like this, it's an uphill climb accessing quality, accurate captions that make learning possible. Daily, I encounter content without captions and experience the frustrations of auto captioning with its confusing and oftentimes objectionable content. Captions are just the tip of the iceberg for this Create Accessibility project. Let's put accessibility in the hands of our classroom creators and make learning accessible to everyone. Once the video is done, I can stop voice typing. It is speech recognition software, which isn't 100%. So there are some errors here. This could be dependent on the quality of the audio. It could be dependent on ambient noise. A lot of different factors can affect the quality of this voice generated transcript. You have little squiggly lines that are going to indicate that maybe you have misspelled words or things that are wrong. And so like this one, I already know is accurate, not the car. Quality accurate captions for this Create Accessibility Project. I'm not really sure what this is. So what you can do is go back and play the video and fix the errors. There are one billion people worldwide with disabilities who experience things differently. As you do that, your video is gonna keep playing as you're making corrections. So you can go back and forth, make the corrections. So now that my edits are done and I've checked it against my video, two really neat things can happen. First, I can insert my video from Google Drive and there it is. And I can leave my transcript there because some users may need that. But here's the cool part. If I go to File, Download As, Text File, now I have a transcript in the correct format that I can now upload to my video in Google Drive. So now I can go back to my video, <coughs> do a right click, Manage Caption Tracks, Add New Caption Tracks, select that file that I just downloaded, Upload, Done. 
And this is a one minute video, so it won't take too long to process the captions. Once your captions are processed, what's neat is I can go back to my slides and present. There are one billion people worldwide. And now I've got captions displayed. Now I wish there was a way to automatically display captions. My captions automatically came up because I have accessibility settings set on my device to always display captions. And all of this was done using voice typing, Google Slides, and your video.